All human souls have a single source of existence and life is always a changing process that can never be stopped. Respecting one another is therefore a virtue that every human being must have and hold in high esteem. Dearest viewer and listener, I welcome you to yet another episode of Life Spells Your Motivational Series with me, Nana Otupridako. And I will urge you to stay glued in because there is so much to share. Now, pearl number 13. True wisdom is to be undoubtedly convinced that there is a greater force behind your existence which is unseen, that no condition in this life is permanent, and that every soul alive, no matter how great or lowly, deserves your utmost love and respect. A very long one, but we shall take it in bits and deal with it as much as we can. And I believe that the end of it all we will come into a consensus that it is true. Who is a wise man who has wisdom? What is wisdom? In my search, as I pondered over life, I came to the conclusion that true wisdom is nothing beyond these three things. To be undoubtedly convinced that there is a greater force behind your own existence which is unseen. Why? Because in beginning this whole project, I said that there is breath inside every living being. There is breath, ruach, running through your nostrils every day, which you cannot see. But you close your mouth and seize your nose from breathing air, which you cannot see for just a moment and you begin to pant for breath because that is what gives you life. Without air, no human being is able to survive. In pearl number one, we said that our whole existence depends much on air, which we breathe, and once that ceases, we cease to exist. Yet, this is something we cannot see, and that alone should tell the one who calls himself or herself a wise person that there is a greater force behind one's own existence which is unseen. If you come to this realization, then you are on the path of gaining or attaining wisdom. Then secondly, you must agree that there is no condition in this life which is permanent. Why? Because you yourself, you started as a fetus in your mother's womb and you did not remain a fetus forever. You became a baby that was born and you did not remain a baby forever, but you sought to advance. You sought to grow. That alone is change. So whatever you are today, whatever position you are in today, being it good or bad, is bound to change. It will not last for a lifetime. Then thirdly, as a wise person or someone enlightened who is seeking wisdom or who is striving to be wise, you must also agree and let that particular one be entrenched within you. Make it part and parcel of your lifestyle that every soul alive, no matter how great or lowly, deserves your utmost love and respect. You need not love someone because of race, tribe, color, wealth, position, class, or anything, but you only have to love and respect all because they have breath running through their nostrils, just like you. The great and the lowly alike. The rich and the poor alike. Male and female alike. The old and the young alike. We all depend 
on this unseen power, this unseen energy. No matter how rich you are, you do not pay for the air that runs through your veins. The rich man does not pay for the air he or she breathes, and so do the poor. So why look down on a fellow human being who bears the same flesh and blood like you? Because of class, because of race, because of tribe, or any other thing you can talk about. Whoever looks down on another person based on any of these things is nothing but unwise. Pardon me for my words. But you see, on life spells, we try to learn in order to change what has bedeviled this life and has made life so difficult for all of us to enjoy. In the wisdom of nature, this life was made for every human being to enjoy it to the fullest. But our own interpretations and actions is that which has brought us this far. To the extent that a group of people think that others are not worth living. And so they must find means, they must find ways biological means and ways to eradicate or to wipe away a certain race or a certain group of people. History has it. Adolf Hitler wanted all Jews slaughtered and wiped away. Why? Because he saw himself to be supreme than the Jews. Many people have trod that path. But ask yourself, has it been worth treading the same path? Today, if you will go down into your own self, today, if you will search deeper into your own self, then you will realize that you are even worse off than Adolf Hitler then again you realize that you are even worse off than Napoleon Bonaparte. Why? Because silently you look down and detest many a people around you because of class, because of race, because of tribe, and sometimes even because of gender, education, and the like. What you are lacking right now is power. Then you show them where they really belong. It all boils down to who you are from within. So search through yourself and see if you have an iota of this tendency to look down on others. True wisdom is to be undoubtedly convinced that there is a greater force behind your own existence which is unseen, that no condition in this life is permanent, and that every soul alive, no matter how great or lowly, deserves your utmost love and respect. You cannot disrespect me, you cannot disrespect yourself, you cannot disrespect other people. Every human being who does disrespect another is disrespecting himself or herself. So if you think that by trampling upon other people, you are showing and exhibiting power, then I'm sorry to tell you that you are a loser because what you do to others goes round and comes back to define who you are. If you disrespect others, you are disrespecting your own self because they are souls like you. And a soul is a soul and very precious to nature or the creator. The people in history whose ego and disrespect sent many a people into early grave. The people in history whose ego destroyed many lives were not worse than you. If you have ever looked down upon another,
you are the same as them. What you are lacking right now is power. What you are lacking right now is that opportunity. So if you are silently detesting and disrespecting someone, I am saying that you are more evil than those names in history. And this is the time to redefine yourself. Let your conscience, your own conscience, bring you back to the right path. As I bring my message to an end, let me reiterate that true wisdom is to be undoubtedly convinced that there is a greater force behind your existence which is unseen, that no condition in this life is permanent, and that every soul alive, no matter how great or lowly, deserves your utmost love and respect. This has been Life Spells, and I am Nana Utipridako. See you at the finish line and be an overcomer.